Hello and welcome to Budget with Brian and part two of the five new tools for 2020 from Makita. First up, I'm showing a picture of the new Milwaukee 18 volt mag drill. This is a very expensive piece of equipment, but of course, very specialist. However, Makita have filed a patent and I'm showing a picture of one of the diagrams from that patent now. And it's showing that they have a device in the pipelines. However, for great bang for bucks on a corded one, take a look at the Evolution, which I'm showing you a picture of right now. Next up, we have a heat gun. Again, this is an 18 volt device from Milwaukee. Looks pretty good, looks very useful, but Makita have just launched a corded heat gun and it's quite expensive for what it is. I would have really liked to have seen this device cordless and perhaps we will for 2020. All of this is just pure speculation on my part, but what do you think? What tools would you like to see Makita deliver in 2020? Next, I've got a framing nailer from Hikoki and I've heard some great things about this device. If you're not a carpenter, then this isn't gonna be terribly exciting for you, but not having to run out of gas is a great plus, I think. And with batteries getting ever lighter, I do kind of feel that this device could become more and more compact. So if Hikoki can do it, why can't Makita? And the next item on my wish list is a Hoover. Now, I'm showing a picture of uh, a Dyson V11, which arguably is the best cordless vacuum cleaner on the market. But it would be really, really nice if perhaps we could utilize some of our Makita CXT batteries and just be able to swap those out. Obviously on the Dyson, it's a fixed battery and when the battery dies, you have to throw the unit away, which is not great. However, look what Bosch are doing. Bosch have managed to put together a consumer type vacuum which is battery operated and it's using its consumer DIY battery packs to power it. It really does look like that would be a great idea to have a Makita CXT battery drive a small hoover for the home. Now on this last one I'm cheating rather than asking for something to come in 2020. Here's a picture of a current model of a belt sander in the Makita MT or MacTech range. It's straight out of the 70s. Now, I like orange, true, but really, is it time to get rid of MacTech? Your comments below, I'm interested to know whether you think it's still relevant to have these dinosaur type devices still on their current list. As always, thanks very much for watching. Uh, really interested in any of your comments about what tools you'd like to see from Makita in 2020, or have you got any rumors? Hit subscribe if you want to see more of these, as well as the notification bell. And don't forget we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.